Okay, I've just explained Dirichlet's principle. Now there's another principle called Thomson's principle. I'd just like to spend a short lecture explaining what that is because it's important. Dirichlet's principle, it, it, it's two different views of the same thing. Dirichlet said the following thing. He, he, he considered this function of the node potentials, okay? So he considered this function of the node potentials and, and, and deduced that it minimized by the, the potentials that s for which Kirchhoff's current law holds at the nodes and Ohm's law is respected in the edges, in the conductors. Now Thomson, Thomson came about this kind of, from a kind of dual perspective. He decided, you see, it's up to me really whether I choose to work with node variables or edge variables, okay? Thomson came along and noticed the following. If, if I just write down x like this, look, I can write it down uh, using the definition of the weighted Laplacian, look, like that. And then if I'm just careful about this, look, I can write this as minus ax transposed um, times minus cax, okay? And if you remember, this from Ohm's law is what I called my um, m-dimensional vector of currents in the edges. And this thing here is actually minus E transpose, where E was the vector of potential differences. Okay. And now you remember Ohm's law. Ohm's law says that um, the current in edge K is equal to minus the conductance in edge K times the potential difference in edge K. Okay. So, so you see, what I can do here is I can write this thing as a sum over the edges, okay, of W K. So that's the, so that's what I'm, I'm just putting that there. And then each of these is basically W K over C K. Okay, Bec I'm using this because this implies that E K is minus W K over CK. Okay, that's just Ohm's law. So what I'm doing, look, is I'm writing each element of this um, m-dimensional vector like, like, like this, and then I'm substituting it in. Okay. So, so what Thomson did, look, is, is he basically said that let me write the same dissipation function as a different function, but now of the edge variables or the currents. Okay. So uh, he had a different point of view to Dirichlet. He said, um, it's still the energy dissipation that's minimized, but instead of thinking of the energy dissipation as defined as a function of the voltages of the nodes, I'm going to consider it to be this function over the sum over the edges of the currents in the edges. Okay, and what Thomson said, what Thomson said was, um, epsilon w is minimized. As a function of um, the edge variables by the current that satisfies Ohm's law and Kirchhoff current law at the interior nodes. Okay, so it's the same deduction but just viewed differently. It's, it's almost like changing the kind of variables in which you're describing your functional. The dissipation is the same, it's the same dissipation that's minimized, but it's whether you view it as a function of edge variables or node variables. So edge variables is Thomson, node variables is Dirichlet. Now, I proved Dirichlet's principle in the last lecture. I'm going to leave this uh, proof of Thomson's principle as an exercise for you.